My ship. Nauticy. Bovril, thank you, man. I can give the money to the government on your behalf. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, it's a good game. I don't understand the anime women of Signalis. It's just really dumb. That's probably the worst part about it, is it's just a bunch of, like, generic anime women robots walking around with, like, big asses. But the game itself is pretty well made. No, I didn't finish it. I mean, I should try again. Ooh. I should try and finish uh, Black Mesa. I don't think this lane is very playable. I'm just going to go get D-Shield. I'm going to go get D-Shield and just TP. I don't watch anime. Especially not One Piece. Nah, that's not my thing. I just don't give a shit about it. I don't really watch it. Do we outscale? Fuck, we have so much AP. Triple AP? 180 split push, 180 hyper carry jungle one shot champ. Or at least it used to be. You gotta go Emax on Nautilus mid. Because Emax unironically one shots the wave. The base damage on Nautilus's E is so fucking high. It's ridiculous. For this one. Really? <laughs> Whatever, bro. I'll get the anal beat, I'll sit lane AFK, and I'll get items, and then maybe we win. Good luck. Good luck, brother. So fucking broken. Rat. You know, funnily enough, I was actually beating him. I probably could have just solo killed him. The fuck? I probably could have just solo killed him, honestly. Yeah, I need to go Rod of Ages. It'll be Rod of Ages, Locket, Redemption. We're gonna go the broke-ass build. I could even do, like, Knight's Vow, put it on Hecarim. Because I'm 99% sure you're not really able to farm as much on this guy. 
considering you're like a playmaking champ, so you want to make more plays than you do farm. Look, he's bot lane. We see him. He's bot lane. We see him. Well, there's actually four mid. It's not even fucking three, bro. I mean, you play him like you would in this game. I max W. I max W in Wild Rift, bro. I've seen people not do that, but like, that's how I played Graves mid when I played Wild Rift Graves. W max with like full crit or something. The game is weird. Wild Rift is League of Legends light. It plays similar, but it's definitely different. It's not 100% the same thing, it just feels like it is. It's very, very, very weird. I used to play Wild Rift. I don't think I'd ever keep up with Wild Rift, because why would you want to when you can play League, you know what I mean? They're getting longer. Are they getting longer because players are getting better? That's typically how that works, or vice versa. They're shorter because players get better and other teams aren't as good. No, I'm not going back. I've already beat that game. I don't think I would go play it again. No, sir. Yeah, but the content's already been seen. I've already seen it all. There's nothing really new about the game. need to murder bot lane. Speed me? Hello? Speed me? Speed me! Hello! crippled walking through a river. Crippled. I will tank. Okay, Braum gets it. I'd say worth, man. Absolutely worth. Again, I don't really care. I'm Nautilus. I'll be building support items for God's sake, so it doesn't really mean much to me. Pretty good. I gotta sell... Ugh, I don't sell this. I sell this. Can't sell that, though. I sell this. I mean, if you tank with Zelene and you've got R, that's criminal. That's so criminal. At 21 minutes, I get Rod of Ages completely stacked. And now I get to buy a bunch of cheap support items that are relevant to, like, every game. 22, 23. Pretty good. Give me the support items.
I must be somehow useful in a game where I'm not supposed to be useful. Get tired, man. It's already 2 p.m. and I feel like going back to bed. For God's sake, Mochi's still sleeping. At least he went back. Sometimes all of your days feel the exact same. And you just can't remember what day it is and what time it is. Let alone even want to look at, like, a clock. Everything just, like, molds together. It blends in together. Fuck, this is a wanker. Oh, is this bloody fucking wanker? Oi, whoop his bloody fucking ass in it, bro, man. How did he power shot, really? Damn, that champ looks pretty fair, bro. It's a pretty, pretty fair champ, damn. Looks legit. Surprised he actually died to tower, though. Really? Hecarim tanked? Damn, okay. Wake up breakfast, get the train, clock in, lunch break, smoke break, meeting, coffee, break, clock out, get home, play league, eat, sleep, repeat. Ooh. Ooh. A long work day to come home and play league. That sounds like a life. <laughs> I, that's what I used to do. Before I was even a streamer, that's exactly what I used to do. That shit is miserable. That is no bueno. Hey, if you like it, though, you like it. Some people come home and prefer to play Valorant, so... Could be worse. I was a male stripper. An obese male stripper. champion, bro. Winnable. Very, very winnable. I mean, Pantheon usually falls off. Usually. His ultimate fucking scaling is now different to where he's not supposed to fall off, but the champ's pretty one-dimensional. Okay, 1,800 gold for Locket.
I mean, I'll keep listening to it. It's good. We're supposed to be getting a new Orden Ogan album next month. It's not going to have the same effect. Uh, there's no real way I'd ever spam it like I would this. But I'm sure it'll be good. Orden Ogan really never misses. Their latest single was kind of a miss, but like when it comes to an album, they never miss. They're always good. Gordon Ogan. I wonder if the uh, Angus McSix is going to put out a new album this year. Because they put out their latest, uh, you know, the new... They put out the new... Um album that's like, oh, yeah, we left Glory Hammer, blah, 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 blah. And it was good. It was really, really good. But I haven't really heard anything from them since. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure bands typically play new songs live before they do it, you know, release it on, like, Spotify or anything, so... I mean, to be fair, we have no damage. To be fair. We, this team has no damage. The 1v9 god machine needs to be Hecarim. Whose fault is it? Not mid. You sound like you have fucking AIDS. Be quiet. I'm making a statement, you just chime in like a random annoying fucking fruit fly, sucking on my ball sweat. Shut your mouth. We're only... We're only gonna be getting... 4v5s, most likely. Because this guy's probably just gonna want to split, and that's fine. Or maybe 4v4s. 4v4, 4v5. It is what it is. I want to go in. I want to go cue someone. What if we dive? I think we dive. No, oh, they're gonna live. That's fine. What can we do? So we get Jinx and we get Bot Tower? I mean, I will just keep killing myself. I gotta put my life on the line for, like, any play possible is the only thing I can really do. That's the best option I have this game. Just go fucking psychotic, crazy, insane, delulude. Mm, go armor. Hey! 
easy money. It's terminal. What is? Saw the Aliens Romulus trailer. It looks good. You know, I recently... Me and my buddies watched, uh... We watched Alien Resurrection this morning. That's why I'm so late to stream. And, um... Yeah, it's not the best movie. It's... It's not. It's certainly... I think it could have been a little bit better. I think it could have been a bit better. Personally. Aliens... I said this when I was watching the movie. I'm like, Aliens Resurrection just shits on the last three movies. It's like a big slap in the face. Like, well, to be fair, Alien 3 is a slap in the face to 2. 2 is not the 1. But, like, from 3 being such... It's not the worst film. I think 3 is better than 4. But, I don't know. It's like, something great happens, and then everything gets taken away. Something great happens, and then everything gets taken away. There's no W's in the Alien franchise in terms of endings. Like, Aliens... Aliens, everyone gets off well. It's great. Aliens, same thing, but then it just hits the fan again. It's just a shit show. It is just a shit show. Did Brom just flash? I think Brom just flashed. I had lock it, but I, that kind of died before I was able to click it. Winnable! Winnable, but not because of me. I'll tell you that right now, folks. I am not carrying. Well, you know what's funny? Ridley Scott, I mean, he said Alien Isolation isn't canon. But what was awesome is that John Carpenter said the video game of The Thing is canon. So who knows? Directors are different. That guy don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, he didn't he try to make like the Napoleon film, but he made it all like when people said like how historically accurate is this movie? He's like, I don't fucking know. I wasn't there. Or something along those lines. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I mean, I guess, like, you know, if you're going to make a movie about... I guess it's like a dramatized version of, like, you know, Napoleon's life or whatever. I mean, if you base it on someone real, unless you're explicitly saying it's supposed to be a dramatized version, like, oh, we added a bunch of this shit, whatever, whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, apparently even French people were like, this shit ain't it. I don't know what this is. This ain't it. I don't know. This shit ain't not it.
I had corrupting potions and I didn't even use it. I had corruptings and I wasn't even fucking using it, man. It was bad. There's no reason I should ever get the, uh, Zelene ult, but at the same time, I don't really know what I do there. Because I'm just walking in. Like, I've got nothing to contribute, bro. I'm just walking in. If I had Gangplank this game, God forbid I put loud music and play another GP tryhard game, but, like... GP, I think, is a free win here. Mochi. Hey. What are you doing? Do you see this creature? Look at him. He's sitting. He's sitting in his cupcake bed. Are you in your cupcake bed, Mochi? He's so small. Oh, it smells like piss. You poo poo piss again? You got poo poo pee pee on the floor? Yeah, you did. He poo poo pee pee everywhere. It's very stinky. Zeline, broken champion. The hardest thing about Zeline is deciding to lock him in. Because that shit is so fucking boring. It's probably. Actually, you know what? It's more engaging than playing Nautilus. That's what I gotta say. Nautilus is uber fucking boring. Infinitely more boring than Zelene. Easily. Nautilus is like hyper resident sleeper build. Or not build, but gameplay. Super boring. Super, super slow. <sighs> He's not thematic either. I feel like Nautilus to me in League of Legends, he reminds me of like, it's just a good concept, but in game it's like a Valorant character. It's just super ass. Doesn't feel good. Do we actually beat this guy though? For real? You think we do? No way. Okay, all I'm gonna say is, thank God Zeline didn't. Uh, Zeline's ultimate wasn't even available yet. And I'm glad it wasn't because now he can ult the Hecarim. If it gets to that point. Or he ults Sir with Shabazz Kiss. Terminix, thank you, bro. Ooh, the grease mongers. The grease. Ooh, imagine losing to this Hi, one Toby, in 10 fucking going? war criminal Nautilus mid. Expanse, we're good, bro. Thank you, man. We're chilling. What a free win for Tobias Fate's dog shit Nautilus mid. Look. Look, you can see him. We get the free win, what can they do? You've work to do. Get on it. Tobias, Tobias, Tobias 2. Yes, sir. Bye. As. Tobias. Fate. Big My mama. fate. Big Mama Illoi. Much love from Brazil. 31 months. Dunk, thank you, you bro. concerns, do ya? Decade Dance Game Mixed by Jasper Burner Song from Hotline Miami to one of my favorite levels for how crazy it was. 
I never fuck with that game. Thank you, though. I've never fuck with this game. Everybody group. Mochi. Baby mochis. Go away, please. Hotline Miami is very pog. Yeah, I feel like a lot of games, when you grow up with it, it's a lot better than it... The thing about nostalgia is it can sometimes blind you, right? Like, you having those memories as a kid and remembering something for what it is, maybe it's not as good as you thought, you know? Maybe it's unfortunately not. Okay, we get one. But of course, when the nostalgia is great, and it's as good as you remember it, and it's still good, you know, whenever you want to play it, like, that's, yeah, that's a big W. People born in 2019 are old enough to be able to talk now. Shit, the age of TikTok is upon us. The TikTok youth. You know, there are some people on this planet who have never even seen electricity. A running fucking, like, television. No computer. Not a single light bulb. I'm 99% sure. I, well, it, it's crazy to think that, like, we've been on this earth for so long, and there are still people who haven't, like, connected to any society. They kind of live in their own, like, little pocket space, and there's no advancements whatsoever. It's not even the Amish. It's like tribes. I was I remember watching a a YouTube video. It was like a guy who wanted to go preach the word of God to like some tribe living on an island and they supposedly killed him and ate him or something, but like Yeah, it was the guy who got killed, yeah. That's just Central Island. It's just crazy. That's crazy. If you were born... I guess that's really all you know, though, right? Those people who live on that island probably think that's all there is to the world. And you'd never know. To me, that's like us in a simulation or in, we're in some sort of, like, droplet of water. And all around us in the galaxy is, like, tons of life, but we'll never know. We will never, ever know. I'm gonna go get redemption. TP. A more meaningful life. Well, to them, life is just survival. For, for us, it's survival as well, obviously, but like, it's. We're so. Okay, I got, like, crit. Oh, yo, yo. It's like. Primal survival. It's like every day you wake up, you need to go forage for, like, food. You gotta go get drinking water. You know? You're so crazy, BB Mooch. Look at your little schnoot. You got that BB schnoot. You got that BB schnoot. I want to see a real life fucking alien. No, you don't. 
You know, apparently people in the U.S. I think last year saw real life aliens. Remember that whole fucking like something fell out of the sky and it was a blue streak and then they looked like goddamn, I don't even know, little little twig aliens or something. I don't know, bro. Do I believe it? Nope. Do I believe in aliens? Nope. Aliens are real, god dang it. Aliens are real. You're just a hater. A sight for scurvy eyes. A dream of Earth by Konsu. This conversation kinda made me think about this song. Anything that isn't earthly is on our minds. Aliens are real. The government is fake. The moon landing is fake. Our taxes don't go to fixing the roads, they go to giving aliens a home on this earth. They're gonna all somehow descend from the skies in giant ships. And they're gonna take us over! I wonder if A Area 51 is like legit though. Because there's always so many different stories about Area 51. And people try to like break in and, you know, fucking bolt for the uh, facilities and how many levels are below Area 51. They're housing the Roswell crash, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking know, man. I'm like, the government knows of things that have fallen out of the sky. And there's no reason they wouldn't have them in their possession. And there's no reason they'd ever show them to society. Right? Imagine showing life beyond the stars to humanity. Everyone would go fucking crazy. It, there'd be pandemonium. There'd be just... I mean, that'd be insane. Legitimate proof of, like, aliens. Mochi, I'm 1 in 14. I agree with this game, Mochi. I'm not good. I'm worse than the Garen from last game. Mochi. What do I do, Mochi? What do I do? I grieve to be me, Mochi. I grieve. Unintentionally. Alright. Let me put on your song. If aliens were advanced enough to get here, I doubt any government would be able to deal or hide them. I mean... You hear all this shit about aliens and fucking cults and, like, Hollywood pedophile rings that are in the woods and they're, like, fucking sacrificing children to a, a, a fucking owl deity... Nobody, like, I don't even, I don't even know anymore, man. I don't know what's going on in this world. This world is corrupt. It's horrible. You got fucking owl demon gods and Hollywood and aliens. I, who knows? That's true? Well, it probably is to a degree. Mm -hmm. 